So today I found a feather and it occurred to me intuitively uh, as I picked it up and held it that this feather has information, it is energy, it is a message to give. We already know this, those of us who uh, find feathers and feel that there's a spiritual meaning, but I came to understand in that moment that we can perceive something more through our intuition, through our body senses. So um, the way that I felt this also is that as I was holding it with my fingers, I just really felt an energy in it, but what I was feeling uh, initially was the feeling of the bird that this feather is attached to because it has the energy and resonance of that bird that bird's thoughts and feelings and experiences and I thought a whole new world opened up <laughs> in that moment and it makes sense because just like um, as a anyone or especially a psychic but um, a lot of people can feel the energy of a person through an object such as grandma's ring right so let's start um, a process so what i thought i would do is together organically let's try to intuit and perceive anything we may receive from a feather through our own natural intuition through what we might feel see hear um, or any kind of information that you receive even just a word or a thought it might be different for everybody and you might need to practice with this so go ahead and um, try this you might want to save this activity for a time when you find a feather and it feels special to you um, or you might like to try it with a feather that you have already found what I'm thinking at this moment is that um, perhaps it will be more stronger when you've just found it but perhaps not so maybe experiment with that I'm now going to take you through the process of feeling the energy of a feather and intuiting meaning and a message. Listen to the intuitive messages that I receive also, for there may be a message for yourself. Okay, let's get started. Once you've got your feather as so, just touch it, feel it. You might want to try different ways on your hand, okay, that feel right for you. Let's start by, I'm already set up a sacred space here with a candle. So let's begin by bringing in the light and just imagine that you're surrounded by a beautiful white or golden light and that the light of God's source of the pure energy from the purest source, the highest vibration is infiltrating and filling you up in your whole surrounds, your aura and the room and space. Now send love from your heart to and through your hand also your um, your whole body sensations through your palm. Just feel this connection between your heart, your palm and this feather. Whatever feels natural for you, just pour your love onto this feather. Okay, and of course you'll be doing this with your own feather, but if you like, you can practice through this feather and see if you can perceive something from this feather through my video. And if so, let me know what you receive in the comments. Okay, so let's open up the palm chakra. So just for this very, for the sake of this simple exercise, just picture your energy center inside of your palm opening up and being able to receive information. Just close your eyes and relax and breathe and see what you feel through your feather. You might like to start this way, just gently resting on your hand. For me right now, it feels tingly because I've opened up my palm chakra and just gently feeling the essence of that feather and just its lightness and, you know, that sort of, I guess, a tickliness as feathers are known for. But where I felt I could really feel things more was holding it like this, but you can experiment with that. So close your eyes and just see what you feel. Give it time. Relax into it, no pressure, no stress. Just open yourself up. Just picture yourself as opening up all your senses. You might like to give this more time. I suggest uh, you pause the video if that's the case for you. 
and I'll just tell you what I perceive from my feather. Just for now, it's just a sense of, I feel that this bird is like a broken bird, as in perhaps not physically, although that's possible too, but broken mentally, emotionally or spiritually, some aspect of them is broken. So I do feel some sadness and for aloneness, but it's not a case of desperate, so um, not a tragic emotion, just a little bit of sadness. Okay, missing, like something's missing, perhaps missing its mother, or there's a missing link, and there's a disconnection from the other birds. So what you can do to extend this is to now ask, what is the message for me? What message do you have to give me? If it helps, do the heart technique, pour your love into the feather, or feel energy from your palm coming onto the feather. Whatever works for you. What is your message? What am I to know from finding you? And thank you for coming to me. May I ask, like to ask your angels and guides to assist in the process. So what I'm receiving is that this feather has come to remind me of my inner child and my sense of nurturing. So that nurturing and lack and mothering um, for myself and also as it applies to my children and my mothering of my children. So there's a maternal aspect here and that's funny because as I said and felt that I'd forgotten everything what I said before but now coming back to my mind that perfectly makes sense because this feather felt a sense of loss of its mother or loss of um, something and that completely connects and makes sense. So you can do two things here. You can think about how that message might also relate to you. So take a moment to feel that in yourself. And you, of course you can pause the video and also you can think about what your feather meaning might mean and how that relates to what you first felt and what it means in your life so you can extend your thought processes there and feelings let's see if there's anything else what i'm feeling hearing sensing is i've come to heal and repair you in a sense of lack of mothering and maternalness and nurturing, guidance, support, wisdom. Also through nurturing, through food and the connection of lack, lack mentality, nurturing yourself and looking for support in others as you mother others, needing that mothering for yourself too and nurturing. And also right now feeling Mother Mary really strongly come through and give that. Mother Mary is just amazing with her nurturing, sacred energy. Thank you, Mother Mary. Feel that resonance of Mother Mary's energy right now. Loving, supporting in a feminine, maternal, embracing way. It's like her arms are wrapped around you like wings, like wings of this bird, like the feathers. Embracing, nurturing, see the curvedness of this feather. This feather is just so delicate and fluffy. You can just see it's just like a little baby bird. And even though it reminds me of, so the fluffiness at the bottom, as you often see, is those little fluffy little baby feathers, little chookies. However, at the same time, it feels like it's more of a slightly older bird, like a young child or of sort of intermediate age child. Here are the birds now, yeah, they are like reinforcing that. A child who has grown and come into its own, but at the same time needs so much more loving and nurturing and guidance and care and support. Just like me, just like you. And just like our children. That's the message of this feather. So thank you angels, thank you spirit for bringing this feather to me. It is important to give our thanks and appreciation and, and to understand the sacredness of those moments. And I hope that um, some of the techniques and advice I've given today is helpful for you. 
And there's the birds again. It's like the validation, isn't it? I love it. All the best to you in your feather journeys and self-discoveries and opening up your intuition, bringing in the light safely, soundly, to feel, hear, sense, know what message it has in itself and for you and perhaps others around you too. And I'd love if you'd share your experiences with me by replying under this video. Tune in for more information on feathers, the spiritual significance and meaning, as well as the colours and feather stories. And you can see my full article on feathers, as well as lots of other spiritual topics on my website, nataliacorner.com, where you can also have a look at my services of psychic readings, both online on Skype or in person, as well as energy clearing, house clearing, numerology, online courses, and one-on-one -on -one training where you can learn a variety of spiritual topics and techniques and be mentored and supported on your spiritual journey.